I'm Jesse Heath, the Director of Clinical Education for Dreyer Physical Therapy. And I'm Kristen Carpenter, the Quality Assurance and Regulations Manager, and I'm 38 weeks pregnant. In the latest edition of the External Newsletter, we discuss pregnancy and low back pain. There are still a lot of common myths about exercise safety while you're pregnant. We're here today to discuss a couple common myths related to exercise and pregnancy and emphasize you don't have to be in pain just because you're pregnant. If you weren't exercising before, you can't start now. This is false. Of course, this isn't the best time to pick up karate, but inactivity can lead to increased weight gain, high blood pressure, pain, and other complications. So walking 30 to 60 minutes a day can achieve great benefits. Strength training can cause injury. This is true. Due to the hormone relaxin, the hormone that loosens the ligaments to prepare for birth, you can cause injury if you start a new high intensity strength training program during your pregnancy. But low to moderate strength training one to two times a week has been shown to be safe. A couple good exercises to do are sit to stands using a resistance band and wall squats using a Swiss ball. This exercise emphasizes strengthening of the hip and core musculature. Go ahead and stand up, keeping your hip good, and slowly sit down. Make sure the band is wrapped around the hips and knee, ankle, and hip stay in one line. Good, and slow to come back down. Make sure you're listening to your body and you don't have any pain. A second exercise is performing a squat with a Swiss ball behind your back. Many pregnant women are afraid to do squats, but as long as there's no pain, they're completely safe. Again, make sure that your hip, knee, and ankle foot stay in one straight line. So go ahead and down squat. Good, and come back up. And go ahead again. Good. Running is unsafe. This is false if you've previously been a runner. Pay attention to your body as you may need to eventually switch to a low impact activity. You shouldn't work your abs. This is true. After the first trimester, it is not recommended to lie flat on your back, such as performing crunches. Pay close attention to the onset of headaches or dizziness. It is okay to work your pelvic floor or deep core in other positions, such as on your hands and knees, sitting, or standing. In a hands and knees or quadruped position, you can perform pelvic tilts by tilting your pelvis down and then drawing your belly button up. Good down and then up. This will strengthen your pelvic floor and abdomen for pregnancy and ultimately delivery. Low back pain is just part of being pregnant. This is false. There are many interventions that can ease the pain of being pregnant. One is an SI joint lock belt. If worn properly, it will decrease pain and help provide joint stability. Kristen is going to demonstrate the appropriate wear should be worn low on the hips, velcro under the belly, and then provide tight support through the hips. A physical therapist can help ease the pain of pregnancy by developing a strengthening and endurance program. For an appointment, visit us at DreyerPT.com.